Hey guys, it's Morgan, and today I'm doing a book tag. It's called The Book Buying Tag. I wasn't tagged to do this. I thought it would be fun, because I do like tags. But there are 13 questions, so I'm going to get started. Question one is, where do you buy your books? I buy my books lots of places. Um, I think I buy the majority of my books on Book Outlet, which is online. Sometimes I buy books on Amazon. Um... And then I have a local bookstore, it's really teeny tiny, called Bookworks. They sell new books, but it's in Whitefish, which is in, it's like a half an hour drive, so I don't go there very often. Um, and then I actually know a guy who owns a bookstore here, it's a used bookstore, and we're friends, and <laughs> if I bake him cookies, then he gives me free books. Um, and I also um, will trade in books there, so I buy a lot of books there. So I buy books lots of places. Um, question two is, do you ever pre-order books? No, I don't. I've never pre-ordered a book in my life. I've never pre-ordered anything in my life. Um, I just, I don't even like really buying books online because it takes so long for me to get them. Especially if you order on Book Outlet. It can take like up to two weeks sometimes to get your books. And I like to have what I buy when I buy it. And so I prefer buying books physically, and I, I've never pre-ordered anything before. Question three is, on average, how many books do you buy a month? Um, so this is really a varied question. In January, okay, in December, I bought 20 books that I didn't get till January. And then I put myself in a book buying ban because I have no space on my shelves. Like, I bought another, another bookshelf. This one. I didn't put that book away. Another bookshelf. Because I had, um, I have my old bookshelf over there, and I have another old bookshelf in there. And the black one was, like, this long, but it was, like, this tall. And that other one is about this long, and it was about this tall, but it had three shelves on it. And so, I used to be able to fit all my books on the black one. And then I had them on this one and the other one. And then I decided I don't have enough space, so I bought this one. And I don't have any space for extra books. I actually have, I just recently reorganized it, and I have horizontal books on top of vertical books right now because I still don't have any room. That's why I was on a book buying ban. Um, but this month I bought four. Last month I bought... Um, I'm gonna say 11. The month before that, probably one. I probably bought one the most, like three out of the past six months. I bought only one book, which is a book outlet book, or um, uh, an owl crate book. So it's just a subscription box. So I'm gonna say on average, maybe four books a month. But I am still on a book buying ban, even though I keep buying books. Um, question four is, do you use your local library? I don't really right now. I have a library card. I usually use it to rent, to borrow movies, because it's free. Um, but I used to, um, before I had this many books, I used to only read library books. Even though I had a bunch of my own books that I'd never read before. And so I had decided that I needed to stop bu renting books from the library and just read my own books. And so I haven't borrowed a book from the library in a really long time. Um, maybe I haven't rented, I haven't borrowed a book at all this year and it's July. So maybe since sometime last year at some point I borrowed a book. But I just have so many books. I, I've only read half of my books. And so the other half... I still need to read and I just feel like I need to read them because I keep buying new ones so six do you ever go to library sales my library has a sale once a year um, and basically what they do is they take all their books with any little damages like if the spine is starting to um, kind of like in hardcover books if the spine is kind of starting to fall off a little bit or if the if there's a chunk of pages that aren't like connected to the book anymore they will take all those kinds of books and then like books that they have too many of people aren't checking them out enough 
and they will have a sale. And then you can also, they also have um, barrels that people just put books in for the sale. And then all the proceeds go to the library. Um, and so they had a huge sale this last year. Um, it was a few months ago. Actually, I think it was last year, like November or October. It was in the fall. So there's probably going to be one, another one soon. And I will definitely go. Because the way they price their books is... They have a ruler, and every inch is like a dollar or two dollars, so they just stack your books horizontally and measure it. But on the last day, they charged three dollars for a grocery sack. So you could fill a grocery sack with books, shove as many books as you could possibly fit in there, and it's only three dollars. <laughs> So, I went all three days, I got books all three days, and I think I got over 30 books. I got a lot of books at that sale, but I only spent like, uh, I think my dad spent like $15 for my books, some of my books, but I spent like 25 so I got like over 30 books for like 30 bucks, or 40 bucks, so it's a really good deal, but I love love library sales. <laughs> okay, question seven. How much do you like charity shops and used bookstores? Well, as I said previously in a question, I know a guy who owns a used bookstore, so I like them a lot. Um, he will accept pretty much any books, whether they're damaged or not, so you kind of have to watch out if you don't want a damaged book, but I get them for, like, the price of a batch of cookies. So, yeah, and I have a lot of credit there because I donate all my books to him, and I've gotten rid of quite a few books in the past couple of months. Uh, not a lot. I got rid of, like, ten this year so far, but my mom got rid of, like, boxes, like, five boxes of books, like, big boxes of books last year, and I was the one who took them in. <laughs> So I still have some credit for that because, yeah, that was a lot of books. Question eight. Do you keep your red and TBR books on the same shelf? Yes. I, before I had it organized like this, I had all of my books that I'd read on the shelf and all the books I hadn't on this shelf. But I just decided to change it up and I mixed them all together so that all the books in like the same series or by the same author could be together. Because they weren't like that and it kind of bothered me. So yes, they are all mixed together. But... I know what books I've read and what books I haven't, so, yeah. Question nine. Do you plan to read all the books you own? Um, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I'm talking about a few specific books. I have the first two Divergent books up here. I don't know if I will ever read them, but I have them. Um, I think I got them at the library book sale. <laughs> Um, and then there's also, there's also another something somewhere, um, I can't remember where they are, but The Fault in Our Stars is somewhere, and, um, Beautiful Creatures is somewhere, which were given to me by my aunt because she was never gonna read them, and I don't know if I'll ever read them, so apart from, like, those four, then yes, I basically am planning on reading all the books. I'm just not sure if I'm going to read those. And I was actually told, um, I thought the Diverg Divergent movies were alright, and I was told that if I don't like the movies, then I shouldn't even try to read the books because I'm not going to like them. So that definitely is probably an indicator that I should just get rid of them because I don't really, I want to read them less now than I did before. <laughs> so, yeah. Question 10. What do you plan to do with books you won't read again? Okay, so I have a rule. If I give a book a two star or one star, then I get rid of it. Because I obviously didn't like it. And if I do read it and I do like it, but I'm never going to read it again. Um, like, I read this book called The Secret School. And I gave it, I think, three stars or four stars. I thought it was a cute book. It kind of reminded me of Little House on the Prairie. But I'm never going to read it again. So I donate them. If they have less than three stars and I'm not going to read them again, I don't have room for them on my shelf because I don't have room for the books I already have. <laughs> so if I can get rid of some books and I'm not going to be sad about it, then bye-bye! <laughs>
Question 11, do you ever donate books? Yes, I donate books all the time when I don't want to read them again or if I give them two or one stars. <laughs> or if I never will read them. Um, question 12, have you ever been in a book buying ban? Yes, I'm currently on one and I'm doing kind of a poor job. I just bought four books this week. Three, three books? The only books that I... I get one book every month 100% because I get an Owlcrete and it comes with one book. Uh, one box, last month's box, had two books in it. But, that's not my fault. <laughs> and so, other than that, I'm not supposed to buy books. Um, and then 13, do you feel like you buy too many books? Yes, I do buy too many books because I don't have any room for them. <laughs> Actually, funny story, I have... Two books on my shelf that have spots, and I have one book on my shelf that um, doesn't have spot because it's been over there so long that I filled its place. <laughs> it's been over there since last month. <laughs> I haven't finished it yet. So yeah, I have a problem I'm trying to uh, fix it. Anyway, this was fun. I love tags. They're so great. And I'm not going to tag anybody just because I don't know very many book people who have YouTube channels right now and I haven't been very good at posting videos and I do apologize for that. I have a really old computer. Okay, it's not really old. It's like three or four years old and it is updated to Windows 10 and all that stuff, but it's really slow and it's like a starter computer that my parents got me when I was like 16. For my birthday and it's a 10.1 inch touchscreen aces and it has maybe 128 gigs of space on it which isn't enough for video editing and so my computer is so full right now that um it's having a having a hard time processing so when i load a video into the editing software that i use it will corrupt and so I actually had this problem. I did a bookshelf reorganization video, which is really long. It takes like two hours for me to reorganize my bookshelf. And it's so big that the camera I use divides it into like 17 minute and 42 second clips. I don't know why that exact number. It's just the number it breaks it to. And so then I have like six different sections of this video and I have to edit them one at a time and then I had to load, I think it had eight sections actually. And then I had to load, um, put, after they were edited and sped up, I had to load two in and save them as one. So I had to do that four times. And then I had to do two in and save them as one. So I had to do that two times. And then I had to put them together. Cause if I tried to put in more than two at a time, it would just corrupt and my computer won't let you save it. So what I have to do is I have to close the window and save it as like a thumbnail tiny file and then reload it in as this file and then it's uncorrupted sometimes. And so I kept having this problem where it wouldn't uncorrupt so I had to start over and just do one, two videos at a time until I could get them as one video. It took me literally like a week to edit this video because my computer and I am planning on buying a new computer but yeah that's why I haven't been posting videos regularly because it is so much work to actually edit them and uh, it just gets old and I just don't want to do it so yeah thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this tag and if you want to do this I tag you and I hope to see you in my next video bye